Hello community, hope you are doing well. In this video, we are going to learn uh, each and every importance of the file. Okay, if you haven't seen the previous video, please check in the description. We attach the link of the previous video. Okay, if you haven't subscribed this channel, please subscribe, like and share the video. So, here we made the application which is name having the hello oval okay so you can see here we created the public src and component folder inside the src and the packet.json file and the web config uh, webpack.config.js file okay so why we created the public and src src contained our main uh, things of the application which is the component okay and uh, the js file and the xml are all in the component and public folder contains the asset thing like images fonts and the html okay and packet.json contains the each and every library which we require to develop the application okay so here we install the dependency which we require for the developing okay and also we created the webpack.config.js file why we are using webpack.config.js file because it allows you to select various features that will be combined and added to the result configuration file and it's also generate an example project based on the provided webpack configuration that you can review in your browser okay and you can download it okay so let's see we created a uh, main.js uh, where we def that that is our main file where we, it is defined in the webpack.config.js file it means we are we are telling to server it is our main file okay and also we have to define the index.html file in the content based path and which port we have to run our application that we are already defined over here which is the 3000 port you can give any port number okay which you want okay so what we what we did over here we are mounting a root component over here here so it is main.js is our main component and in the root.js we had we are writing our uh, logic over here we what what we are writing over here we are we are maintaining one stat and stat name having the text okay so we defining the text which is name having the oval and on the click of the div tag we are updating the text okay so if you want to declare the another text you can declare like stat one you like this okay so like this state one equals to use state here you can give any name like suppose I'm giving the demo okay and here I'm giving the demo application okay so let's uh, let's save it okay and here I want to render this straight one so how i can render this i am rend i am taking here t t esc equals to state one dot demo so this is the way we can render we will see in the series uh, in the detail how we can maintaining the multiple state and all the things okay so you can see in the browser uh, our uh, application is running so you can see our demo application is running over here okay and thanks for the watching this video if you have any doubt or question related to this video you can comment in the comment section and thanks for watching this video see you in the next session